beautiful people. I would be recording this video right now outside, but it is actually raining right now. So we're gonna do it inside, so excuse all of the household items behind me. So today I did my hypertrophy volume, high volume back day. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, hypertrophy basically means a lot of reps, if you just wanna really break it down, and then high volume is pretty much the same thing, a lot of reps. So my high volume hypertrophy back day, back and biceps day. So I wanna let you guys know what I did, and I figured I could help some of you guys out that are kind of confused as to what you would do on a back day. So this is a very simple workout, definitely a good workout for people that are beginning in the gym that aren't super comfortable, maybe doing deadlifts, doing bent over rows, things like that. So it's a very simple workout that I think anybody can do and it will be very helpful for anyone. So I started out with, oh, I did a lot of sets. So what I did was not very many exercises, but I did high volume, so a lot of sets on the set exercises. So, I started with lat pull downs. Now, with lat pull downs, my biggest tip, my biggest piece of advice, I actually have a whole video on this, is when you are pulling, I want you to almost cup the top of the bar with your hands. Don't use your, use your thumbs above where you're, so don't cut, don't like grab the bars like hooks. Use your, your thumbs on top, so like cup, cup the bar, and then when you're pulling down, try to think about pulling with your elbows and pull down, all right? So I did about six to seven sets of that. So I did my warm ups too, so I warm up with lat pull downs to really get the stretch in my lats. Make sure when you're doing lat pull downs as well that you are letting your, your arms go all the way up so your lats can flare out and then you're pulling back down, all right? So we did a bunch of lat pull downs, did about seven sets, worked up to my heaviest, which was like 130 pounds, but that doesn't really matter because lat pull downs, the weight is different any gym you go to, right? So did lat pull downs for a very long time, about seven sets, uh, tried to get at least 10 to 16 reps on each of those sets. So I did a bunch of sets on lat pull downs. Now, after that, I moved on to seated cable rows. Now these are really, really, really awesome. I love doing these right after I do lap pull downs. Now, with the seated cable row, a huge piece of advice is the same piece of advice that I gave you for the lap pull downs. You wanna almost take your thumbs out of the equation and grip the bar, literally with like, the tips of your finger. The reason I say this is the less hand that you use, the less amount that you're squeezing the bar, the less that your biceps are going to be involved in movement and the more your lats are gonna be involved, which is what you're trying to hit when you are doing the, uh, the seated cable row. Now, seated cable rows are a super awesome exercise and there, there are a couple ways to do it and there's, there's tons of different form videos on YouTube. My favorite way to do seated cable rows are basically to keep my back really straight and have very strict form. So pull with your elbows, again, very similar to the lat pull downs. Obviously it's a completely different exercise, but the things that you're gonna be thinking about are very similar. And the reason that I say this is that if you're thinking about the same things throughout the whole day that you're doing, whatever back day it is, it's a lot easier to keep your form in check, right? So pull with your elbows, you wanna pull down like towards your belly button so you'll be able to hit your lats a little bit more the more that you end up shrugging your shoulders up the more you're gonna be hitting your upper back and, and your your traps which is not exactly what you're trying to hit when you are doing when you're doing the seated cable row so definitely go grab the bar with the hooks as your hands you know what I mean with just the palms of your hands and you want to pull into your belly button that is and then when you get to the end of the move when you get to the pulling at the at the bottom of it you want to hold that contraction and really squeeze your lats really, really hard on every single rep that you do. Now, the amount of sets that I did was about five to six sets of this, and I worked up to as heavy as I could go, and then I worked back down. Now, I did about 10 to 12 to 16 reps on each of those sets, all right? After that, I moved on to pullovers. These are these are the rope pullovers, or there's a bunch of different names for them, but I just call them pullovers. Now, a big tip, tip, a big piece of advice on this movement is you want to keep your arms as straight as possible and you want to stretch your lats out at the very top of the movement and then come down, keep it controlled, as, as controlled as you can and you want to, when you get to the bottom where you get to the, the rope as closest to your body, you want to try and spread that rope out as much as you can. Now, after you do that, this is when you move on to your biceps. Now, biceps, this was a fun, fun thing that I did, but first I just did um, just a few sets, uh, I think it was two to three sets of just regular cur curls, uh, got up to 20 reps on each arm, okay? Um, nothing super crazy about that. When you are doing curls though, make sure that you are, when you're curling up to the very top, you wanna supinate your wrist, which pretty much means you want your pinky to get as close to your front delt, as close to your shoulder as possible, so you're not just having the, uh, the, 
you're not using all your front delt. You want to twist your arm and that's going to get most of your bicep engaged, okay? So now after that, I moved on to a drop set, this burnout set, which is really fun. Actually, Bradley Martin showed me how to do this and I, I've really been enjoying it ever since. So what you're going to do, if you can, you're, you're going to grab a 45 pound plate, a 35 pound plate, and a 25 pound plate, okay? So what you're going to do, when you start off, you're going to grab that 45 pound plate and you are going to do as many reps as you possibly can until you can't go anymore. You're going to drop the 45 pound plate, hopefully you have a friend that can hand you the 35 pound plate or just pick the 35 pound plate off, off the ground and you're going to do as many reps as you can on that. And then, same thing, when you can't do any more reps, you're going to grab the 25 and do as many reps as you can on that. The pump that you will have in your biceps is absolutely amazing, it is super, it's, it's a really fun thing to do. Really fun to put yourself on this. What's cool about this exercise as well is as you get more fatigued, the plates get smaller, which makes it easier to grip and it gets a little bit easier, but it's still really hard. So that is my hypertrophy back day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you guys try this out and, and see if it works for you because it, it is a really fun back day, especially if you're just getting into the gym and you're not super familiar with how everything works. Definitely just go over to that cable machine and destroy it. I really hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out thank you so much for checking it out make sure you like comment and subscribe there's one other thing that i wanted to say oh yeah look up my fire. <laughs>